So without a doubt, uh, that's the Anchor Hocking Ruby, Royal Ruby Red vase. Sometimes it's decorated. It's, it's nice. I, it's harder to find this tall. I mean, they were made by the hundreds of thousands. They must have been, but I don't see the tall one as much. Uh, 650. I'm not sure. No, this one looks real deco. Real. Look how. Look even this little tiny embossed lines in there. Do you see that? I like that. It's clear. I don't know. So, you know, eh, do I want to pay $8.50? What can I get for that? I don't know. Eh, and this one, see the prices are just $6.49 and what did I say that one was? $8.50. Uh, it's just a little eh. It's just a little, a little, little, little. Now these little dudes, these little, um, oh, what are these things called? The uh, glass bake, um, hodl. Yeah, that's right. Coffee. See it in there? H O T T. These are neat little things from the '60s. Uh, but I don't know if anybody wants those. So this would be a good time to let everybody know that I know what that is, but it's not something that interests me to buy and sell. I guess if I didn't say that, I know someone would say, you walked right by, Ray Dunn. Uh, and I do, nothing wrong with it. It just falls outside of the area of the items that I like to buy and sell. So we'll leave it for the others. Now, this doesn't fall outside of the area that I like to buy and sell. I always hold my breath with teapots and of course, of course, of course, ah, uh, flibbity gibbet. Okay. I don't want it. Ooh, I might want these. I might, I might. No, they do reproduce these too. So let's see if these are the old dudes or something made in China. And they are, uh, Oh, sorry, I know you can't see it. Well, uh, these are made in Italy. Okay, so these are old, or at least not new. Look at this beautiful handmade art glass uh, basket with a big old crack in the handle or underneath the handle. Do you see that? Mm, mm, mm. No, I'm not gonna buy that because it's got that damage. I don't think it's old, but it's unique. Uh, this is pressed glass here. That's okay. I'm just going to show you some prices. Four dollars <throat> for that. That's got chips on it. Uh, that's not old. That's old, meaning 1930s and 40s. Look at that beautiful console bowl. It's etched. Uh, three feet. That's pretty. That's Depression era. I know you can't see it. I'm trying to get it. That's beautiful. That is a beauty, beauty, beauty. Well, let's see, how much are you? Oh, you're very reasonably priced at $5. Now that is, uh, ooh, that's a good, ooh, probably 13 inches across. Okay, now see, in my brain, I have to start saying I can't get that into 12 by 12 by eight box. We gotta go into a uh, 14 by 14 by eight box and that, that kicks up the shipping. So, I don't know, that's nothing. I mean, I don't mean to say it's nothing. People get mad at me. It's just nothing that I want to uh, buy. Uh, let's see. All right, here's a bunch of yellow stuff. There's some cobalt down there. Mm, ooh, what did I run over? Oh, I got a, oh, my cart got messed up. All right. Uh, here's some more clear glass down here. Now, let's see what we can see. 
I see some new things and um, some things, you know, some mid-century things, some things from the 40s. There's that old American press cut. This is so funny because this dish, this is another dish. Uh, Anchor Hawking's American, American press cut. I think that's in every thrift store I go to. Mm-hmm. And then uh, just letting you see some of them mocks. It's a big piece back there and I can't. I know some of you want to see what it says. I'm going to zoom in on it and let you see it. So I'm too far uh, back from it, but I know you wanted to see it. Let me refocus again. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I don't see anything here. Oh, let me get down on the floor, my old knees. Now this is, uh, that's pretty. I don't know what that is. I don't think I've seen that pattern before. You guys know what that is? And that's a pretty little pressed glass piece there for three bucks. Yeah, I like the design on that. Uh, little serving piece. Mm hmm for your green olives. Oh my goodness, let me get back up here. Now this thing, let's take a look at that on the side. That looks old because of that bird. Now I haven't turned it upside down yet. I might be wrong. No, nope, it is, it is old. I think it's, is it Fraunfelter? Hold on, I, let me get it. See, that thing is sometimes called the bird of paradise. Big motif in the 1920s. That little guy right there. That weird tropical bird. Let me make some spit. Oh, that's heavy. I'm trying to uh, make some space so I can see if we are... Is. I think it's, I think it looks like Fraunfelter. Let's get in there. Let's get in there and see. I'm gonna have to run my mouth again because they've got the music playing. Oh, look at Raggedy Ann serving face. She's got attitude. Uh, I like me a sassy Raggedy Ann. Where's Andy? A little unusual for me, but uh, I'm gonna buy these four Crooksville plates. They're just decorative plates. They need to be cleaned, but they have really neat pastel colors. Uh, and they're probably from the 40s, maybe the, yeah. Let's get, we'll get them home and clean them up and I'll show you them you know, all nice and clean with no tape. Probably two of the most easily recognizable anchor hocking patterns and I see this glass in every thrift store I go to is the anchor hocking Wexford mass produced in the 60s as well as American press cut. You wanna, uh, start learning glass. Memorize these two patterns. That's the press cut by Hawking and that's Wexford. You will literally see it almost everywhere you go. First it's item like, in the cart today is a wonderful 1930s Torchier lampshade. Oh my gosh. Now it's $10 and I always buy these lampshades 
even if I don't have the base onto which it would fit because um, they, they, they're pretty good sellers, you know. All it takes is for some kid to go running through the house, knock over the uh, torsier lamp, and if it's a glass shade, of course they fall and break. Now it's $10, but this will be a replacement shade for somebody. Look at that, I love that right there, that panel. Um, I've never seen one with a clear, with it, with it clear glass right here. That's somewhat, but that would fit down. Let's see what that would look like. Let me get it. Yeah, that's gonna be wonderful. That's very early 30s when these became popular. Okay, you know, I've got several bases at home. Um, most of mine are chrome. We'll have to see. If I can't use that, it's gonna be for sale. Hello, big overstuffed couches. Hello, 1970s big old wooden tables. Uh, all right. Okay. Another big old basket. And everybody yesterday was telling me it looked like, uh, <laughs> what did they tell me? Now I forget. Uh, another big old basket. Now that's a big one. That's going in the cart. Uh, not New Martinsville. What did they, more, um, uh, it'll come to me. It'll come to me. Don't worry. I'll, I'll remember it. Look at the old candlesticks. That looks like a macaroni noodle. I love this one. I love that one. And there's only one. And these are, eh, well, they're okay. But that one. Mm-hmm. These are, these are okay. Let me stop talking and get out of this lady's way. <laughs> I'm not in your way. Just push me. Um, what, who did they tell me those uh, baskets? Oh, I'll tell you in a minute. Hold on. I forget. All right. I got out of that lady's way. Uh, Duncan Miller. Yeah, that's what everybody yesterday was telling me. I hadn't had any chance to look anything up, but... Apparently, Duncan Miller made a lot of these baskets. So, that's a big one. I'm excited. All right, let's see. There's some crackle. I like the color of that. I'm going to go for that. $4.50. Is that on sale today? Uh, orange. I think orange and green. That's not bad. That's pretty. Oh, and it's signed. What does it say? I know you can't see it. I don't know why my cat, Irma, Irma, Irma Bombeck, Irma Relish, Remings, I can't read that. Oh, that's plastic. I thought at first that might be like a black glass silver overlay thing. That's the second time I've been fooled by plastic. In one week. Plastic. Ooh. Am I out of focus again? Okay, now, what else am I gonna find? I love this basket. I think today is my shade day. Now, I'm gonna buy this. I love this. I'm not convinced that it's old, but it seems to me I've seen this. Well, it's $6. Where have I seen this before? Where have I seen this before? We'll look at it again later. It's just, it's very handsome. Now there's another lamp down here that kind of has, it's not very interesting, but it kind of has a, oops, what did I do? I'm breaking things. It has a deco look to it, and now normally I would not pick up a lamp by its harp. Let's take a closer look at that. It's got a new cord on it, but it looks like it's an old socket. I wish... Well... Okay, that's an... Let me set it down. I don't know. See, here's the, oh, it's broken, so never mind. All right, so it was rewired, and that's probably when that new felt was put on there. 
But that's a that's not a new socket. And that really has the look of the 30s, but it's broken. So I have to put it back. I'll put it up here. Yeah, I think that was it. I think that was an old Art Deco lamp. Sort of deco, you know. All right. I love that shade. Okay, good trip to the thrift shop. Now, if you're new to this and you you say, oh my gosh, that porch is a mess. Remember, I just moved in in the autumn season and I haven't had a chance to do anything out on this porch yet. But all the old furniture is going to get painted the appropriate colors. So let's look at what we've got today. I'm really excited about the Torchier shade. I'm going to go down in the basement and see if it'll fit one of my lamps. I don't think so. Uh, it was $10. That's just a beautiful shade. Oh, yeah, maybe I'll take it inside and let you see what I, what it will look like on another lamp I have that probably doesn't fit, but we'll see. And this piece here, I wasn't sure whether it was old or not, this white opal glass, and it's not cased glass, it's for, you know, student lamp. And I did a little looking and I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you two uh, companies that sell antique, uh, lighting fixtures and replacement shades and this and that. It appears as though these may be, this may be new, which is fine with me. You'll see that one company is selling these for like $170, you know, new. Um, I, I think it's new. I think it's new and made for people who need it for old hurricane, who, who need it for old student lamps. So let's take a look at those ads. And then finally back here, a big basket. And I want to thank everyone who was telling me Duncan and Miller. As I said before, I had just gotten the baskets and had no, you know, you saw the two little ones yesterday. And now you see this big one. I don't even know what I paid for it. Wait a minute. Let me see. Oh, mercy. I paid $8.49. So... Uh, I have to wash that. Oh, and then those little plates. I already took those plates inside because they have to be washed. Yeah, let's go see if that fits one of my lamps. I bet it doesn't. This is a beautiful Torchier lamp that I'm using in one of my rooms. Uh, I need to do some restoration on it. Obviously, you can see it's a little out of whack down there. Uh, but that has a pearlescent shade on it. And I think in order to get that shade out, I have to remove that big mogul light bulb. So this goes together nicely. Let me take the light bulb out just to see what this shade looks like. Okay, well, you don't get to see because this shade is too big. It doesn't, it doesn't fit down in there. So I have to run down to the basement and see if it'll fit in one of my other lamps, but uh, I'll probably do that some other time. That just about does it for today. I will leave you now with the four beautiful Crooksville plates, which are displayed on my unironed table runner. And I hope that you like these. I think someone is gonna to want to hang these up in their kitchen this springtime. Aren't they wonderful? Crooksville, China. Uh, wasn't that in Ohio? I don't remember. I guess I have to go back and look it up again. Uh, just a little transfer where decal plates with de uh, decals on there. They're probably meant to be decorative and hang those on the wall. They're pretty for Easter and they'll be available for sale sooner or later. And you see that pot right down there? You're gonna see it again, but I'm gonna have a wonderful big old, either a snake plant or a potted palm or something in there I haven't decided yet. I still haven't switched out the china closet. In fact, I might just leave it until after Valentine's Day. But right now that's it. Maybe the next time I see you, we'll be hanging window treatments in the bay window of the dining room. Thanks for watching. I'm glad you went shopping with me. I hope you had a good time and you liked the things that I purchased. And that's it. Wait for the cat. I'm Scott. Thanks for watching. So long for now.